You know, there's been a lot of people <clears throat> contacting the Eight Father uh, that they actually want to sue Lou. You know, um, I'm not going to mention who, but I did receive several calls today uh, from other, you know, people that feel Lou, you know, wasn't honest in who he was and, you know, didn't have a disclaimer. And uh, because he um, did not put, portray himself in an honest way, they actually feel that they have a lawsuit against Lou. Now, I'm actually, my thing with Lou is, you know, I, look, I'm a big boy. You know, I made my own choices in life. You know, I made the choice to invest in AMC. Yes, I did like, like Lou was a person who inspired me to do it, but I'm not, listen to me. You see, people got this wrong impression with me. I'm not looking to blame anybody for decisions I make. But the thing is, okay, I can technically. <laughs> you know why I can technically blame Lou? Because he has no disclaimer. And that's what and that's what everybody keeps telling me. Every call I get, I keep hearing the same thing. You know, he portrayed himself to be some some somebody he wasn't. Some Wall Street, you know, guru who, who was getting insider tips. Hedge funds are telling him exactly when AMC is going to squeeze. Like, listen, this is what he said on his videos. That he has insider connections. And it's not true. So that's why everyone who's calling me is saying they feel they have lawsuits against Lou. My big beef with him is just honestly what he said about my wife. I mean, I'm telling you, man, I, I really, you know, look. I'm a big boy. I made decisions. You know, nobody forced me to buy AMC. You know what I mean? I'm not... I told you from the beginning. That was never really... People think like I have this intention, like I want to sue Lou because I'm down money on AMC. The way I look at it, it's only temporary. I know I'm going to do well with AMC. My main beef with him is just how we spoke to my wife. That's my main, main beef with that piece of shit. Okay? But um, other than that, I mean, listen, people have been asking me if I wanted to participate in a group lawsuit. It's something I'd consider. It, it, it would be something I'd consider because this guy has no empathy, Lou. He has no sympathy for anything he said about my wife. And uh, why should I have sympathy for him, right? <laughs> like, like, look, I'm a very logical, simple person. I'm very simple. If you treat me with respect, I treat you with respect. If you treat me, you know, you have empathy and sympathy, I treat I treat you with empathy and sympathy. But when you have no respect for me, you have no empathy, you have no sympathy, don't expect any empathy from me, mother ever. <laughs> so, you know what? Anything is uh, possible with Lou. Yes, anything is possible. There may be lawsuits... There may be um, other things. There may be a lot of things because the guy's got no empathy and no sympathy. He could have. With me, it was such a it was such a simple way to rectify this. Oh, so simple. Rich, hey father, what I said about your wife was out of line. You know, I don't like you personally. I don't like things you said about me, and um, you know, I'm gonna come after you for whatever he wants to do, and I would have been fine. Do, do what you got to do, brother. Come after me. But, you know, just needed that needed that apology about the wife. There was no reason to bring the wife into it. And, and because that because he's not apologizing and because he has no sympathy and no empathy, man, I want to see him go down in flames, man. I have you don't understand something. I don't have a drop of sympathy for this dude. Not a drop. Like if freaking Lou went to the hospital and he had a brain aneurysm. And just fainting on the floor, like I said. I'd go out, I'd order myself a calzone. <laughs> I'd order myself maybe a, a meatball sub a sandwich. And I wouldn't pay it no mind. I have absolutely no sympathy for this man. No sympathy at all. I don't wish him good. I don't wish him good health. I, I don't give a, a rat's ass if this guy, his brain blows up in his head. Because when you don't, you know, he said, he's like, he said, what's your wife to me? Your wife's nothing to me. Well, guess what, man? You're nothing to me either. <laughs> Who are you to me? Who? He's always complaining about headaches. Good. Suffer. Suffer. Okay? Suffer. <laughs>